Hi, I'm here spinning today and I'm going to describe to you some overspun yarn and underspun yarn and what different twists will do to your yarn. So let's check this out. Here I am spinning some nice green wool, wooly yarn, and I feel really good about the tension and I feel really good about this, the twist. And here's how you can test what your yarn is doing. So if you fold it back on itself, you want to keep this pinch so it doesn't the spin doesn't travel up your yarn you haven't um, done anything with yet. But I just gave it a little twist, and this is what my yarn is going to look like if it's plied. Are you happy with your yarn? I think this is pretty good. It's soft and fluffy. You can pull on it. It's strong. It's a little bit spongy. This is pretty good stuff right here. Now I'm going to show you what happens or how you can tell your yarn is overspun. So just to demonstrate, it's a little bit too fast and maybe I'm not going as fast as I'd like. And here we go, just for the demonstration, I'm going to let this spin up. And for whatever reason, this could happen to you, but you can kind of feel it. It's getting, the twist is getting pretty strong here, but um, as I'm going, it's kinking up on itself. And maybe you want to test it. Maybe you want to see how it goes. But um, as you can see, there's some places in here that are still haven't twisted back on itself. It's pretty hard and stiff and not, it's more rope-like rather than yarn-like. Um, maybe your project, you want this, but I tend to think that this would be overspun. For me, this wouldn't be comfortable knitted up. It's too hard. So one way to remedy this is you can slow it down and you can also, in the moment, you can let some of that twist travel up your yarn. So pinch off where you want the twist to stop and as you can see, it's gonna relax out the yarn a little bit. I'm just gonna fold it over to show you. And you can see that took out some of the twist and it's a little bit softer and a little bit more spongy and not so ropey, but you can definitely see there's a lot of twist on there. So remember, you just have to turn down the twist or you can turn up the intake so it goes in faster. Um, now, underspun gives you problems in addition. If your yarn keeps breaking and things because you didn't put enough twist in the yarn, it can be very frustrating. <clears throat> so for demonstration purposes, if there's not enough twist, your yarn's gonna be pulled out of your hands and it's hard to find the end of it. So if this happens to you, don't be too upset. I'm just gonna try to find the end. We just need to put more spin on this. and we'll be back in action. Sometimes people have a hard time getting their yarn off when they thread it through as well, it keeps breaking. Um, one of the things you can do is just go back to a place where it stops breaking, um, or you can manually twist it just for the piece that you wanna get to go through the wheel. Sometimes this happens and then you're just gonna thread it back and hopefully there's enough twist. And in the moment, if you think your yarn is gonna break again, you can turn up the twist and hold this, don't let it go, just let it twist up a little bit. It'll give some, it'll give some strength to your yarn so you can continue. But if it's underspun, just remember, turn up the speed or um, turn down the tension so it doesn't pull it out of your hands as quickly. So I hope this has helped and hopefully this will make spinning a little bit easier. Thanks for watching.